Tarzi was strolling at the bottom of the garden. As he passed under the apple tree, he heard a commotion in the branches. Looking up, he saw an old woman. Oi, you, dog, she said. Help me down, I've crashed me broom broomstick. Aren't you a witch? said Tarza. Of course I'm a witch answered the old lady, struggling even more. Come on, help me down, I'll not bite. Tarza helped the old lady down. Thank you, dog, she croaked. For your kindness, take this apple. It's magic. You treat it right, and it'll make you happier than you've ever been. Right, let's have me broom broomstick. Thank you, said the witch, and she left. Hmm, looks an ordinary apple to me, muttered Tarza and set off for home. <laughs> right then, let's see some of this magic, said Tarza to the apple. He remembered the old lady's words. Treat it right. He put the apple on a nice cosy cushion and sat down to watch. Absolutely nothing happened. Then he rubbed it to see if it would change into a golden coach. It didn't. He said, it'll make my broom fly. It didn't. Carefully, he cut it up to see if there was a treasure inside. There wasn't. Maybe if I eat a piece, he thought, I'll change into a prince. He didn't. Now what? said Tarza, hearing a noise from outside. He went to see what was going on. Cooey, Tarza, called a voice. It was Sadie with the King and Dr. Smelly in a balloon. Hello, said Tarza. Like a piece of apple? Oh, lovely, said Sadie. And she gave Tarza a kiss. Oh, how stupendous, said the King. Here, take my royal yo-yo to play with. Oh, astronomically kind, boomed Dr. Smelly. Here, bottom my balloon. Gosh, thanks. Come on, Sadie, said Tarza. I've never seen you so happy, Tarza, said Sadie. Funny you should say that. Tarza. I was walking in the garden this morning when I heard this commotion in the apple tree. 